Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you have ever wondered about the types of data that Windows 10 and Windows 11 sent back to Microsoft, so basically the telemetry, the phone in home. Just a video to do a quick overview between Windows 10 and Windows 11. And in Windows 10 and Windows 11, the options to send data back to Microsoft are very similar and basically the same. And they are called required and optional. So in Windows 11, if we head into our settings and we head over to privacy and security, yeah, you've got diagnostics and feedback. And yeah, you've got required diagnostic data and optional diagnostic data. Now, the required diagnostic data is basically what Microsoft says is needed to keep the OS in a serviceable state. It says, as a part of using Windows, your device sends Microsoft a limited set of data that is necessary to keep your device and operating system secure, up to date, and working as expected. Now, I've selected both. I've selected sending required and optional data because I have this turned on for the purpose of this channel because this is linked to Microsoft Edge, especially in the Canary version. And I post a lot of videos about upcoming features and a lot of those features don't arrive. I've discovered when this is turned off. Now, getting back to the required data, what it collects is things like device connectivity and configuration data, product and service performance data, and software setup and inventory data. So that's basically what required diagnost diagnostic data is doing in the background. Now, if you want to, as mentioned, if you want to send more, which I have because I'm doing that intentionally, you can check send optional diagnostic data, which basically means you help Microsoft improve your Windows experience and fix problems more quickly by sending us additional diagnostic data. This includes data about websites you browse, how you use apps and features, and enhanced error reporting. Your, your device, it says, will be equally secure and will operate normally even if you choose not to send optional diagnostic data. But this is not a mandatory setting. As mentioned, you are able to turn this off. And I always say if you are concerned about privacy and you don't need it on, as in my case, I've got it on for this channel, Turn this off if you are concerned about privacy. Now, the data that Optional Diagnostic um, collects are things like browsing history data, device connectivity and configuration data, inking typing, and speech data, product and service performance data, product and service usage data, and software setup and inventory data. So that's just a couple of things taking place under the hood. A couple of more variations so to speak compared to the required which has basically got three main categories and optional has got six main categories and over and above these you've got improve inking and typing which you've mentioned tailored experiences you can view your diagnostic data and you can also delete your diagnostic data which from time to time is quite a handy thing to do just to kind of delete that data if you are concerned about privacy and then you've got a feedback frequency, which I always leave at never. So I only leave this on for channel. Everything else you can see is off, which if you are concerned about privacy, that's what my personal recommendation is. Now, when it comes to the difference between enterprise and your home users, IT admins in corporations and enterprises have a lot more control over the data that is sent to Microsoft. Where if you are an average home user or consumer, you really don't have that much control over that data. But obviously, if you are tech savvy, there are ways around it. And I don't think, though, your average home user would have the knowledge, though, to actually get the job done, so to speak. Now, this is how it looks like diagnostics and feedback in Windows 11. And as mentioned, very similar, if not the same over on Windows 10. And this is just a screenshot I took for the purpose of this video. So you've got diagnostics and feedback, 
required, as we've been talking about, and optional. And then you can turn off inking and typing, tailored experiences, view diagnostic data, delete diagnostic data, and then you've got your feedback frequency right at the bottom. So it's basically at the end of the day, Windows 10 and Windows 11 are sending the same amount of data back to the Microsoft service. So basically at the end of the day, this all depends how you adjust these settings and how you look at all of this, depending on how privacy conscious you are as an individual and how much you basically trust Microsoft at the end of the day. Now in my experience, your average home user doesn't even know that this exists. And as far as I know, these are all turned on by default. Your f feedback frequency is also set to a certain time limit. I've turned this off. The only difference is optional diagnostic data is not on by default. It's only required diagnostic data. So all up to you as an individual how privacy focused you are. Obviously, there are other areas in the operating system you can tweak and adjust. I've posted quite a few videos on that. I will leave two videos linked down below and in the end screen. How to disable ads on Windows 11. A lot of that will also apply to Windows 10. I'll leave that linked. It's got a lot to do with these settings and the like we are talking about today. But obviously, I've just touched the surface. But just a quick overview, as I mentioned, in case you would be interested. Regarding the types of data that are sent back to Microsoft. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.